In this video, we'll see how we can charge the car battery using the inverter, home inverter. Okay, now we are starting the car. It's start, not starting. It's showing battery is low in red. Red color it displayed on the panel. Okay, now switch off the car. So battery is down actually. Okay, so now we need to, we can check the battery voltage. You can use a small multimeter put it in DC voltage and then check voltage. Now it's showing 12 volts actually. Though it's showing 12 volts actually, when we start the car, it goes down, the voltage goes down. Okay, so it should be at least 13 plus uh, so that uh, it's proper. Now we need to remove the battery out. So for that we need to unscrew the nut bolts which are given for the terminal. So loosen the nuts and remove the terminal knobs okay just pull pull the knob out okay now the terminals are removed check the polarity there actually so one side is positive other side is negative so when we place back the battery after charging we should place as it is right now actually polarity so we should not uh, reverse okay be careful there so now we are removing the clamp, we are unscrewing that nut so that that rods are removed. So this this clamp is in place so the battery does not move while driving the car. Okay, so just remove that, remove the rods from the slots actually. Okay, now we can take out the battery. Okay, now battery is taken out of the car. Okay, so we are cleaning the battery. So if there is any dust, we can clean the battery with a brush or a cloth and also clean the terminals properly so that the contacts are proper. Okay, so clean both the terminals. So if any there, if there is any rust, it will be cleaned. We'll clean it properly. Okay, so once it is cleaned, uh, we can check the water level. Okay. So normally battery would go down if you don't drive the car for many days. And also because of the weather conditions also it might go down. So now we are checking the water level. So water level looks proper actually. So th there's no need to add any distilled water here. But in case if the water level is low, then we, you need to add the distilled water. For that, there is another video where uh, we have uh, described how to fill the distilled water. That's also given in the description. Please check. Okay, now the battery is placed to charge with the home inverter. So plug in the home inverter. For home inverter, uh, there will be two terminals, one red terminal, red wire and the other black wire. So red is positive and black is negative. So this red positive should uh, connect to the positive terminal of the battery. You should be very careful, should connect properly. So black goes to the negative, okay, minus. So red goes to plus, black goes to minus. Okay, these are connected properly. And now we can switch on the inverter so that it starts charging. Okay, so inverter is switched on. So you can see the battery blinking there. So it means charging started. It's also showing the, the battery one one hour 32 minutes okay it's increasing actually so it's charging and increasing the the time okay so now if it is now it's fully charged actually so blinking is stopped that means it's fully charged so it will take at least uh, two to three hours to charge the battery so so once that is charged take out the terminals out Okay, now we can check the voltage. 
okay voltage is proper now so it's showing 14 volts so good enough actually okay so now you can put the battery back into the car so just the brush the terminals actually if there is any dirt it will go out so you can use the sandpaper or a brush to clean the terminals okay so now we can place the battery there and now we need to connect the two terminals as it was earlier so should not reverse the terminals be careful okay so while charging also red wire goes to positive and black or black wire goes to negative even here you should place as it was before okay do not reverse the battery okay so that terminal is knob is put into the battery terminal and the nut bolt is tightened okay so similarly tighten the other terminal also put the knob and tighten the nut okay so it should be tight enough okay so now we can place the clamp the rods which are given so that the battery is intact does not move when we drive the car we we'll just place those rods there will be small holes in the bottom actually we need to put those rods into those holes so that it is in place okay once that is done you can tighten the nuts okay okay so these are tightened now okay if if the car now we can start the car if the car does not start then there might be some problem with the battery uh, so it might be the voltage might be dropping down quickly so you need to take it to the battery shop so that they can check and replace the battery okay now we can start it so now here actually it started so battery is fine now okay thanks for watching the video Please like the video and also subscribe the channel so that you'll get uh, this kind of informative videos. Okay, thank you.